Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Ah, Transport Fever 2, that is. I keep saying Transport Fever because I think there's only one game, but at this point, there are two. Now, in the previous episode, I said that it's finally going to happen. I'm finally going to be building up this line from over here in the south to the first stop heading north, Quangzhou. The reason for doing this is twofold. Uh, one, Quangzhou is growing quite quickly. It's already up to 400 people at this stage. And considering that it started out as a fairly small town, this is actually quite impressive. It started out at 200 and it has doubled. Courtesy thanks to uh, fuel, providing fuel to it, and I'm still not providing enough, and providing this tram route. This is something I built in the previous episode. And, well, contrary to what I had expected, a simple tram route from one side of the city to another is making me $27,000 a year. Now it's time to add these towns together. And I already had made a bit of a start. Now it's time to start with that and uh, just keep going. Hopefully not going to be too expensive because I will be going up a little bit. But I don't want to be building bridges or anything like that. So I'm going to have to take a little slow and hope that the game doesn't start charging me for this. Excessive changes in terrain. Because that is simply something that I cannot afford. Um, on top of that, I don't think that my trains are going to be particularly appreciative of quick upslopes. Because they will not be able to climb that much. Now, I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of either digging or tunneling. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a tunnel here. Whoa! Thank you very much, but that's not what I had in mind. Uh, yep, I'll spend a little bit more to keep going fairly level. And then fairly level again. The town's over there. I'm just aiming more or less at the bus stops. But I would love if this train line, there we go, would actually go down a little bit. Not that much. I don't need to be digging again. Digging is such an expensive operation. Holy shit. Yeah, I need to be first finding the standard level of terrain. So I keep making these little higher up places. Which keeps making my line expensive. Am I now at ground level again? Yeah, I think this would just about do it. Whoa. Up. Look at that. The game suggests that I do it like this for 122,000. If you just fight the game and you go, nope, I don't want that. I just want something flat. It goes, sure, you can do that for 33, or sorry, for 30. Or if you want to go up a little bit more, you can do that for 20. But if I keep going up at this rate, I'm going to be building bridges again. I'm all for... Bridges, but not if I don't need them. 43,000, that's not too bad. Nice and flat. This is how I like it. Good long stretches of terrain. We're going up again. Apparently the terrain is not quite as flat as I'd hoped. Yep, there we go. 37,000... All right, now to start planning. Now to start planning. I want to have a uh, train station here, a cargo station. Or, and that might be more interesting, I can have trucks deliver the fuel both to the town and to a cargo station. So, similar to what I have in Surat, I have a cargo platform, and I can have cargo lines, or cargo train, rather, pick up the fuel directly from Quangzhou and go south. So that would allow me to not have to build another train station over here. Building a train station over here would be faster for loading though. That is one of the redeeming factors. Um, if I don't go for a combined station, then I would have one train station over here or actually one over here and one over there. So that's two separate ones. 
And the one from here would also be going... Oh, well, let's say westbound to Novosibirsk and maybe Beijing. Um, I don't want to go further north to Yangon because I'd have to tunnel through that entire... What is that? It's not a mountain, I guess? Well, it might be. Let's call it a mountain. No, I want to try and go for that combined cargo station. Now, ideally, I can do that and set that up not too far away. Uh, streets, let's say like that. Pause the game. This is when that undo feature could be very handy, but unfortunately, no such luck. Okay, um, this has to be the cargo variety, cargo side of the station. There. Configure. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's going to be a passenger line going, well, west-ish. So that's a platform, passenger platform. One, two, three, four. Then I'll take another track and another platform. And then I'll take another track and I'll take another platform. The reason for doing it like this is that I now have my cargo line. I have a uh, transport line for passengers that can go south. I have a transport line for passengers that can go to Beijing. And I have one that can go here to Novosibirsk. So that should allow me to get all the transport needs uh, met. Now, the cargo line is over on that side. The passenger building is going to be over here. Um... Small building, mean, mean, really? Oh, that's big. I do like the look of that. That's not terribly expensive either. You're paying 31,000. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That is one beautiful, beautiful station building. Um, now, it is a bit out of town. So I'll now have to set up the supplying lines, but that's something else. First, train line. Um, l with the lessons learned from the previous uh, encounters, this one has to go uh, out because it has to go towards Surat. Yeah, it snaps into place, it's straight. This one is also gonna go there. Uh, one's gonna be an incoming line, the other one's gonna be an outgoing line. And these two are not going to be connected. They're going to head, well, the other way. And I could extend them already, but I don't think it's necessary because I don't think the town's going to be growing this way that fast. You never quite know with transport fever, but I think I should be fine. All right, let's set up a uh, slip over here. Yep, that's it. And now to find the other track. Let's keep the money flowing, please. Build that first segment. Whoa. If I hook it up entirely, it's going to cost me 437. If I do it in smaller increments, it might not be that expensive. See? <laughs> nice try, game. Nice try. Don't try to swindle me out of my money. I see what you're doing. Hold up. Connect it here. Now, I'll be able to build the whole train line, but actually getting vehicles to move on that line, well, that's something else. That is going to be something else entirely, because I probably won't have the funds for that. I still cannot borrow any more money, um, so I'll just have to be patient a little bit more. And for now I can just keep expanding this until I meet up with the other train line. And Oh, it's actually not that... well, it's not that bad, but we still have some way to go. Especially if we start expanding the tunnels, it's going to get quite expensive. 
So we need 50, 90... 153,000. That seems like a lot of money, but I am getting pretty decent income here. Uh, last year, road vehicles provided 326. Railroads actually provided less at 190. So hopefully it's not going to take me that long to get a bit of cash. There it is. The cash is already here. Now, unfortunately, the rail line got cancelled when I opened that financial window. Let's keep building that. And connect it. Done. Okay. Signaling. Seems to be set up quite alright. I need you to wait. Oh. I need you to wait with building signals because you currently cannot afford it. What I can do is set up the train lines themselves. Passenger line here to passenger line there. So this is the Surat Quanzhou line. Quanzhou. Uh, passengers. Just to make it easier. Uh, actually, I'm going to start this one over here and stop that there. Let's see if that signaling works. Nope, right now they are just sticking to their guns and sticking to their own track. Which makes sense. Look at that, they're, yeah, they're completely splitting. Okay, uh, Quan Zhao to Surat Fuel. Hopefully setting up the signaling will help. Done. Just a couple of signals. I don't expect this to be an exceptionally busy line, especially not early on, because... Trains are cheap, or well, not cheap. Trains are really expensive to build. Okay, I guess that should do. And then stop here and let the other train pass. Right, that's what I want. Okay, um, how are my trains currently doing? Because these ones apparently don't all run full. This train is 22 for 26. This train is 23 for 26. This one's 23 for 26. And this one is... Whoops. This one is 21 for 26. I'm just going to sell one of these. That should give me six... Yeah, about 700,000. And with that, I might be able to afford one train. The thing is, I could set up the train... And it would bring either passengers or cargo from here to there. And then the people would start over here and go, yeah, and, and now where do we go? Because now we have nowhere to go. And that's a bit of a problem, so truck stops and tram stops and stuff like that first. Actually, um, you need food. That's not something I can produce here. Yeah, well, no, I can. Oh, this is perfect. I can be producing food over here, sending it to the food processing plant and bringing it back to the station so that the train that's bringing the fuel from Quanzhou to Surat can take food back with it to Quanzhou. That's perfect. All right. Uh, for that, that means that I will need to have not just one of these. Um, or actually, no. I can use one of those, but I think it looks nice if you also have a uh, cargo area-ish. Really? Oh, sorry, no, that perfectly fits. My bad. All right. Um, I know that you can combine these, but I want to make this town as pretty as possible. So I'll take a tram stop. Like that. And then I'll take a truck stop over here. All right. Now, I can make this thing a little longer because I expect there to be quite a few passengers. And similarly, I can make this thing a little bigger because there might be quite a bit of food piling up here once the trains get here. Okay, now it's a matter of connecting these. 
That's going to be a medium street. And this is also going to be a medium street that connects to there. And I want to see if the town wants to develop towards this area. Let's upgrade this little bit. Okay. Now, um, as we have developed, or as we've discovered in the previous episode, passengers like to go um, from, let's say, their residential area over in Surat, coming by train, dropping off here, and going shopping. For some reason, they don't seem to visit relatives or family or whatever in another area. So they want to go to the commercial buildings and potentially to the industrial buildings. They don't need to visit anywhere over here. So, if I can get one or two uh, tram stops, like that, this might actually be enough. This one services the, almost the entire town, but I am going to be kind to these people and build, let's say build a tram stop over there and another one over there. So we're going to have one tram going from here to there and back, and the other one going from there to there and back. They won't actually meet anywhere. Um... Because then I would have to have one of these things start moving around all weird, and I don't want that. Uh, so, here and back, and there and back. Okay, you're going to start here. You're going to move over there. You're going to move over there, and you're going to move back. And I don't want you... Oh, right. I thought it was going to take this road and then north, but it's taking a side road and then through uh, Chuodori. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Quangzhou. Qua Typing. Quangzhou. Uh, train. Train tram? <laughs> what is that even? Uh, train station connection. Quangzhou Central uh, Central Tram. There. Now, before actually this is going to be a tram, I first need to make sure that a tram can go there. Then we're going to take this route, and that route, and that route, and there. Okay, so that works. This one I don't need, at least yet. But it's that I'm reserving space for it. Because at some point, they might develop this way. Considering the rate of expansion for Quangzhou, I don't exactly know when it's going to just completely engulf my train station. And before it does that, I'll probably be building more and more. Okay, so that's set up. Um, since I'm waiting for more cash to come in, I can also set up that additional service that I need over here, which is another cargo building. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually buildable. I was going to say useful, but... Hold on. Do I need to build a... Pla yeah, I need to build a platform. Oops. Like that. Now I should be able to build a cargo building over here. Yep. And that's the one that I want to tie into that farm over there. So this is going to be a truck station, like that. Um, I might also do this by train, just because there's going to be a lot of grain flowing back and forth. So set up a train station over here, bring in the grain, um, take the grain to here, drop it off at the truck stop, Take the grain from the truck stop to the food processing plant. Take the finished foods back. So these vehicles are going to be 75% occupied almost the entire time. Because initially they'll be moving um, grain too. So that's full. And then half food back. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. And that way I can keep getting money. And I'm going to do this bit by train. Uh, that means that it's going to be... Well, fairly expensive. 
but I think it is for the best. Otherwise, I simply have a magaton of vehicles moving around there. And if this town requires food, yeah, it's 117. So that is almost 235 grain. Uh, and that's without growth. It's going to get worse. Of sorts. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to have to be another step of the process. But more of a later step. Because right now I first want to get more trains going. Well, any train going, rather. What can I get? Let's start with one. Uh, steam. Since I don't have electric or diesel... This is 45, 64, 50. I might just go with this. That class V type one, because it's just, well, it's nice and cheap. 200,000. So you would buy one of those. And then add a couple of the Nicholas's. Uh, poor power rating, unfortunately. Whew. Takes 75 seconds to get up to 15 kph. What if I put on a different engine? This one, for example. Mediocre. It's not very good. And it's also not very affordable at this point. 1.4 million. Could I tack on an additional passenger car? Shit, that thing can carry a lot of cargo. Holy shit. That's 104 people that can get on that train. Sure enough, it's going to cost you 3 million to build. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm either going to need a bigger loan, which I think might unlock in 1900. Or I'm going to have to be patient. And just let my current lines bring me more money. Holy shit, what happened here? The counterclockwise bus. You know what? As the last part of this episode, I want to redo these lines. Halt. Where do you people want to go? To the industrial building. Where's that? Really? You're too lazy to walk. So all of you are going to take the counterclockwise line. Uh, no, the clockwise line, actually. Just from here to there. Done. That's all. Hmm. Okay, how about the others? How about you? Industrial building. Over there. Okay, fair enough. You. Industrial building. Where's that? Over there. Okay, that's different. But all of these people seem to want to get to the industrial area. If I set up one bus stop over here, that covers almost the entire industrial area. Yep, we're going to completely overhaul these lines. Uh, people, manage all the vehicles. Sell off all the vehicles. Counterclockwise line. No, that was the counterclockwise line. Clockwise line, manage vehicles, and sell. Goodbye. Relocate, or actually remove all the bus stops. With my newfound understanding of where people want to go, I might make it a little easier on them. Might make it faster. And how about just another bus stop going here? That covers the whole town. Done. Okay. Counterclockwise line. Uh, manage line. This one is gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. What you're going to do is take people from Upper Surat to 4th Street. This one still covers quite a bit, but not everything. This one covers quite a bit, but not these. Uh, I guess people are going to have to make an effort if they want to go to these commercial buildings. Now, the other line, uh, that's the counterclockwise line. Hold up. Um, I'm going to start calling these things different. This is uh, Surat Bus East. 
And the other one is going to be Surat Bus West. But I need you to go to a different location. All I need you to do is start over there and go over here. Done. It's not the most ideal route. But as long as they get there, I'm fine with it. Okay, and now we add the vehicles. Let's just go with a couple. Uh, oh, we got a new one. These are the Droshki, as opposed to the Troika. Let's go for four. Uh, Surat bus east. And four more Droshkis on the Surat line west. All right, there. Where are all of you going? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, see, they're spreading themselves out. They're immediately reorienting. Maybe this is going to make it more effective. Because, as you guys pointed out in previous episodes, I had a lot of bus stops over here. And this might actually be a more efficient way of doing it. Now, all the bus are going to be quite close together here. 58, 49. This was about 120 versus 10. So this is better. I hope. Five people on. And this one's going to go there. And we got a couple of people who actually want to go back with us. That's fine. I hope that I'm not carrying as much dead weight around. Now, I'm not referring to my passengers as dead weight, not by any means, but... Um, it happens quite a bit that I pick up people over here that need to go over there. And... Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But they do take up a lot of space for other people who are waiting. Yep, already picked up another five and going back. 25 at the train station. This one's still running full. I could even do one more thing. And that's make an intercity bus line that starts here and goes there. And that's all that it does. So that you still sort of tie the thing together. Um, but I'm not sure if it's required. Because if I do that then these buses might be running empty on their way back. Which means they're going to be costing me money. I don't like that. Right now, it seems to be working out quite well. Maybe the west line needs a few more buses. Seeing as there's 53 people waiting there. Almost, well... Sort of running profitable. 10,000. Nice. So yeah, this actually makes a lot more sense, apparently, for these people. Alright. With that, I'm going to end the episode. Quite a few tweaks here and there, and of course we have our new track line. And, and this is something I'm really happy about, the new train station. Kwangzhou Central, with their uh, new passenger building, their cargo building, their truck stop, their transfer station over here, their tram line, and the existing tram line also seems to be doing, yeah, still quite, oh, actually very well at 30,000. So yeah, everything's starting to come together. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, this is definitely going to be something that runs a lot longer than just the 20 episodes that I did on the previous series. But there is just a lot more to build. So keep joining me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you keep following along with all the episodes. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again in episode uh, 6, I think that's going to be. See you then.